Hi, my name is Philip Matchett-Wood, and I'm going to be talking on joint work with Lynn Tran and Van Vu. I'm going to be talking on a conjecture of Noga alone. First, let's define the function f of n, comma, m to be the cardinality of the largest subset of the integers 1 through n, which does not contain a subset whose elements sum to m. So, for example, we could try and compute f of 3, comma, 4. So one subset of the first three integers is, for example, 2, comma, 3. And if you look at this, there is no subset. 2 plus 3 is 5, for example, and each of the singleton subsets don't sum to 4. So no subset of this set sums to 4, which implies that f of 3, comma, 4 is at least 2. We could look at a larger subset of the first three integers, for example, the set 1, 2, 3, which is all the first three integers. But here you see there is a subset, the set containing 1 and 3, that sums to 4. And since there's only one subset of cardinality 3 in the first three integers, we've checked them all, which shows that f of 3, comma 4 is at most 3, and thus we've computed f of 3, comma 4 is exactly 2. So that's an important definition. One more definition, SND of m will be the smallest non-divisor of m. So SND of 18 is 4 because 18 is divisible by 1, 2, and 3, not 4. The theorem we prove is as follows. f of n comma m is equal to 1 plus little o of 1 times n divided by the smallest non-divisor of m. Here little o of 1 goes to 0 as n and m go to infinity. And this theorem holds for all m in the following range. m has to be at least n times log n to the 1 plus epsilon, and m has to be at most, n squared divided by 9 times log of n quantity squared. This uh, result was conjectured by Alone in 1987, and there's a natural lower bound on f of n comma m of uh, roughly n divided by the smallest non-divisor of m. And so the theorem essentially states that the, the function f of n comma m uh, asymptotically achieves that lower bound. 